Hey guys, it's Chloe, and welcome to another Con Chronicles. Today, we're going to be talking about Anime St. Pete. It's technically a new event, but not really because it's run by the same people who organized St. Pete Comic Con in January. Same venue with different signage. But it just wrapped up on Sunday, so time to discuss. It was my first time working at a convention beyond a single attraction, so that was a new experience being on the other side of the operation, even though I wasn't a traditional staff member you typically see at larger cons. Okay, so yes, it was at the Coliseum again, but this time con activities extended to the Sunshine Center across the street, so things were more spaced out. It wasn't too well advertised, apparently, as many people still asked where that building was. One sign was posted outside pointing toward the Sunshine Center, a second sign was added on Sunday, though I don't know why it was placed here. But I think a quick announcement from the stage each day would have helped. Either way, both buildings were packed for the entire weekend, so I think it's time to start looking at bigger venues already. But there were some other upgrades from the first event. The most important one, all the panelists had microphones and they were in their own room so we could actually hear them. And that freed up space for a gaming area, an anime viewing area, and a sitting area so you didn't have to eat in your car or outside. Plus they added some extra mirrors which was super nice for us cosplayers. Speaking of panels, the fandom related ones had some good variety covering most of the popular series, new and older. Not going to lie, there were some panels that I really wanted to go to like anime journalism and terrible fanfic reading, but I was busy working. I learned that staffing a con is like doing a bunch of side quests in an RPG. Some of mine included finding a backdrop for a photographer who wasn't told he would have a booth until day of, fishing out my headphone jack so they could play music during the costume contest, and collecting video clips of various con attractions which you're looking at right now. That was most of my weekend. But I did win a free photo shoot with Dylan K Media, so I snuck away for half an hour Sunday morning to do that. I also managed to squeeze in a quick one shot with Nate Take, so thank you both of you guys for your time and talent. And I got to attend my first ever VIP party Saturday night. I was sitting just feet away from some of the voice actors and felt very cool. I didn't know what to expect though. I assumed there would only be drinks and trust me, there were plenty of those. A lot of blue drinks. But I was happy there was food too since I was running on Uncrustables and Fruit by the Foot that day. The entire weekend was give and take. I missed out on some of the usual cosplay fun like competing and attending group meetups, but I also enjoyed new experiences and built new relationships. Plus I'm getting paid, which is always great. If you are at Anime St. Pete this weekend, feel free to share your con experience in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, go and hit those like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell, follow me and my other social media linked in the description. Next month, we're heading back to Tampa for Hero Hype, so stay tuned for that. For now, I'm going to go take a nap. See ya.